Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire! Let's go take on the Grim Reaper himself. Or, well, maybe just death, or just another ghost, I don't know. I'm gonna call him the Grim Reaper. How should we defeat him anyway? Maybe a game of, uh, Battleship? Or Twister? No. No. That would be a bad idea. I'd rather do, uh, Connect 4 myself. I'm rather fond of that. I think- I- I don't think I'm that powerless. For boss time! Against... Oh, okay, they won't tell me his name. Well, anyway, against this guy, we want to use Flame Dragon against him. And, let's see, Karn, we just use Flame Rapier. Okay, Morteo himself. I guess it must be the daddy of the other two we fought earlier. Now, I want to use Fry against Morteo, even though he's weak against... Uh, Fire! Use Zombie 1 against him, too. Yeah, this guy's weak against fire, that's why I want to use the Flame Dragon instead of the Thunder Dragon. However, I want to use Fry instead of Flame for Bow there, because even with the elemental weakness, Flame just doesn't deal enough damage there. So now, with the Fire Dragon, I'm going to use Marble 1 against him. Flame Rapier doesn't deal more damage because it's considered non-elemental when you use a weapon as an item like that, so, oh well. And I think this might be the only, well, not the only one, but the only undead boss that we're going to be fighting for the rest of the game. So there are others, but we already fought them, so. Okay, so let's go with another marble one there. Now, Zombie 1, as you just saw there, deals d damage, or a lot of damage, to an undead enemy. So, and this is probably the only time you're going to see me use that. So yeah, the difference in the power level between Fry and Flame is quite a bit, but between the Fire Dragon and the Thunder Dragon, not so much. So it's actually worthwhile to use the Fire Dragon because the elemental, or the extra elemental damage you deal with it outweighs the lack of base power compared to the Thunder Dragon. Whereas Fry, or yeah, Flame, does not. Whoa. Please don't die. Thank you. And we should be able to get him on this pass. And second win? Well, it's about as big as his first win, but uh, by then we've got the Flame Dragon set up there, so... Uh, you already lost, buddy. But whatever uh, keeps your spirits up. Pun intended. Uh, oh, uh, uh, nothing. How are you breathing underwater, anyway? You don't have the gills. Maybe they gave one to him to help trade with them. Oh, okay. What happened? Secret weapon! Didn't we already know about that? Well, pretend we didn't. What, what, what kind of license? Swimming license? You can already do business here. I would have thought, like, maybe you needed a license in order to uh, do that flea market stuff, but you don't. So, uh, I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, that makes me feel so much better. It will, soon. Mm, because you were just stowing away on our ship? How do we do that? Well, we gotta go to this secret base. But before we do that, we got more party members with Ox himself. He is not an Ox Moron, though. He's actually pretty good. So, okay, we got, I guess we gotta go downstairs first. Okay, so let's equip Ox with some of the stuff that we got earlier. We got the Ice Shield and the Horn Helmet. Notice his Axe stat is zero, and it's pretty much gonna stay that way for the vast majority of the game. So, oh wow. Well. He's still pretty good, though. He's basically another pure melee fighter. He has a few spells, but uh, well, nothing extraordinary. Might use him every now and then. Nice backup healer, kind of like a paladin, I guess. Yeah, you get Cura 3, uh, that restores 250 HP, and heal, which cures all status heal. So, 
Okay, so what I want to do is there's a few things I want to take care of back at Gant there. So I'm just going to use Marble 3 and I'll meet you over there then. Okay, we're back at Gant. Remember, that was the village that we went to with Gobi there last time. So uh, there's a few things I want to buy here now that we got more party members. I suppose I could have done this earlier, but I figured, well, it's on the way and a lot of this stuff is very expensive. So let's see, we want to get the metal armor for Oxen, so let's do that. Sounds like a plan. And let's see, now you could skip on the Spine Hammer for Ox if you want to. If you, if you don't have the money, you could. We're going to find another weapon soon enough anyway. One of the reasons why I like the Spine Hammer for Axe is not just its raw power, but also it is a one-handed weapon, whereas most of Axe's hammers are two-handed weapons, which means he can't equip a shield, so that kind of hurts him a bit. And let's see. We could get the Hero Spear for uh, Gobi there. It is Water and Light Elemental. Not that that really matters, but it's there. But yeah, like I said, you probably didn't have to spend all that money on bows and uh, Gobi's equipment there if you didn't want to. For a very important reason that will be coming up right about now. So basically, if you're short on money, skimp on Gobi, then bow, then ox. Although, it really shouldn't come to that. But you can if you want. Like when I did my first test run, I had to do that. So, But anyway, we can't get to that guy. Whatever shall we do? Well, now that we have Ox leading the party... Booyah! Yeah, he just punches rocks out of the way. Holy cow. Oh, where was that? Oh. So are you going to teach us the spell? Oh, no, apparently not. Well, in order to get the spell, you have to get Karn in the lead there. So, let's go do the Ox. He's going to teach the spell to Karn, and Karn only. What kind of spell is that? Kind of looks like the save points in uh, Chrono Trigger. But anyway, for talking to this guy with Karn, we get a new spell for him. Well, a spell for him. The power of simulation! No, no, not that kind of simulation. So, okay, so uh, let's see what we got here. Let's take a look at what we got. We got the Shin spell, one of the best spells in the game. You use that, and he creates a super form, which essentially it's fusion ha! with bow and Gobi. That's why I said you didn't have to worry about their equipment, because now they're essentially incapacitated. So let's leave the menu here. Then you go back. Yeah, anyone who's fused will automatically be thrown out of the party after you leave the menu. So, and you pretty much want to do that. So, let's bring these four up there. So, I kind of like how they do this with uh, those with the fusion spells because at least if the party members aren't that good in the long run, at least you put them to some use. I would prefer that you made everyone useful or almost everyone useful like in Dragon Quest 4. But this is the next best thing. We want to put uh, Ox in the back row there, so that way uh, Ryu will be still be taking most of the hits, even though I've got Ox in the lead, because we've got some more areas to unlock now that we've got Ox in the party. So what I want to do is, uh, let's see, where do we want to go next? Uh, let's go to Crypt next. So in order to do that, we got to warp to Arad or Arid. I'm going to say Arid for today, because that's just how I roll. My pronunciations will change depending on what mood I'm in for the day. How am I doing on HP? Okay, good. I uh, actually rested up after the boss fight there. I remember Nina was uh, hurting there a little bit. So, okay, let's use a Marble 3. I'm not going to walk all the way through crypts there. I just figured it's real quick, so I'll remind you guys where it is, and then... I'll just meet you on the floor where I want to do something. So press the A button, you create the bridge with the fife, and enter. Okay, we're back on the uh, 
I guess it's the third floor, or maybe it's the fourth floor. Whatever this is, we're still in crypt here. Remember this, uh, boomerang that we couldn't get before? Please don't get me into a battle. Thank you. Booyah! Yeah, you do that, you get the boomerang, or broken rang, or whatever you want to call it. But, unfortunately, you can't equip it. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Let's check it out. If only we had someone who could fix it, but sadly, we do not, so. Okay, well, I'm going to need a Marble 3 in order to get out of this place. And we don't have an exit spell for now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to meet you outside, and then we'll head on to the next area where I want to uh, put ox to use, not bow. Okay, we're out of there. So, let's see, let's warp to uh, Oria. There we are. And we gotta go through that uh, cave of light and dark again. So, this will be real quick, so I'll just on screen it. I hope that guard doesn't catch me. You would think, I mean, isn't uh, Ross in charge of the security around here? You would think we could tell him, hey, uh, could you do us a favor and tell your guards to uh, relax around us or something? Oh! I forgot about something. You know what? I'm going to show this as long as I'm here. I forgot about this. Some people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, what happened to the captain after uh, the ship sank? Did he just go down with the ship, or did he abandon ship, or what? Now, this will cost me another Marble 3, but who cares? But yeah, you go back here. He's alive! Oh, well, good for you. I suppose once... The ship goes down, the captain can do whatever he wants. What is the naval protocol for that? I mean, obviously, the captains, women and children first, then the men, and well, then the captain, I guess. I mean, captains has to be the last guy off the ship if you can get everyone off the ship, right? So, I mean, wh what if they can get everyone off the ship? Is that... Is it, is it then okay for the captain to leave? Or does he still have to go down with the ship? I mean, what's the protocol for that? I don't know. I'd ask my grandpa, but he's no longer with us, I'm afraid. So, oh well. But since we opened this door earlier, we can just skip all that running around like that. But yeah, my grandpa was a Navy captain, but uh, well, I can't ask him anymore. Oh, well. Maybe my dad would know. Not that he was in the Navy, but I don't know. Maybe his dad told him. But anyway, with Axe, remember there was that uh, broken wall? Or, well, not broken wall, but uh, I don't know what you'd call it. But there's a whole bunch of... Uh, oh, yeah. There's a whole bunch of these walls, remember, where we couldn't get through them. But they were kind of weakened, I guess, or unstable. I don't know what you call them. But, uh, with Axe, Booyah! You can knock them down and get a couple items. Not that they're extraordinarily useful, but uh, they're there. Uh, another thing you can do with Axe, I'm probably not going to do this right now, but uh, you can also uh, punch trees. And sometimes you'll, like, get an apple out of them or a coconut or whatever. Nothing that I'm extraordinarily interested in, but... It's there. You could do it if you so choose. But anyway, we're done with our business here. One more thing to do. Do I still have the tablet? Okay, good. Oh yeah, once you uh, finish business with uh, Gobi or defeat that boss or whatever, you get a little more inventory space for some reason. I don't know why, but oh, there it is. So I suppose I could move everything around, but uh, not right now. Let's go back to Romero, and well, then we want to go to Agua. Yeah, I think any trees that you can actually get something out of are like trees that are like by themselves. On the world map, that is. You can't do that in the town. So uh, people probably wouldn't appreciate that. Hmm. Can I do it with these ones? No, I can't. Okay. Oh, I need, uh... Oh, I need bow. Can I do that with Karn? Let's find out. Hey, hey! Yeah, when you're fused with Karn, you can walk through trees, just like Bo could. Oh, yeah, um... I think you can also, uh... shoot animals, too, like Bo could also. 
So that's pretty nice. Well, let's at least get in the, uh, the dungeon before I use another Marble 3 there. Okay, so, uh... Alright, we need Axe in the lead there. There we are. And, yeah, we just got that one wall there, so this will be a real quick trip in and out. Booyah! I've been saying that a lot lately. Not just in... Oh. I, uh, forgot to use a marble tree. Whoops. Well, okay. You get new battle music once, uh, Gobi joins the party. I would have shown that to you earlier, but they were all, like, really, well, not long battles, but uh, I was using the Marble Free, so. There we get a silver bracelet. Uh, nothing I really care about, but, well, it's there. Okay, let's get out of here and, uh, let's go looking for that Dark Dragon Fortress place, whatever. Oh, you know, we can't warp to, uh, Prima because it's, well, underwater. So what I'll have to do is I'll warp to Gant, and then I'll walk to Prima off-screen then. Okay, we're back at Prima here. So, like we, they were telling us, the, uh, yeah, there's the fortress is to the west there. So let's head on over there then. We've got some new enemies underwater here. Yeah, if Gobi was alone, these guys, really hard. With everyone, not so much. But yeah, with uh, some of the equipment that I got recently, uh, the Echo Hat, or Helmet, uh, anyone can equip it there. I'm not going to use it, but it allows... Or did I get that yet? I thought I did. Oh, here's another new enemy. Nothing I'm going to do special against it, though. Let me uh, take a look. Did I get that yet? Hmm. Oh, no, I didn't get that yet. Okay, uh... Never mind, viewers, there is no such item known as the Echo Helmet. Uh, pay no attention to me. But uh, the Silver Bracelet, that's the one I, w I meant. I don't know where that other piece of headgear uh, came from. Uh, pay no attention to that, viewers. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. But yeah, with the uh, Silver Bracelet, the way that works is it's an accessory, you equip it, if it's on your lead party member, I think it cuts the encounter rate in half. At least that's what the uh, item guide says on GameFAQs there. I have not personally tested it, but that's what I've heard. I like the new battle music. It's kick ass! Oh yeah, another thing. With, uh, well, Shin there, as you can see, uh, uh, Karn, or whatever you want to call him, Shin now, uh, is uh, dealing a lot more damage. The... So that really helps him out a lot. The, the drawback is that he deals, or he receives a lot more damage, even though he has more HP. So it kind of balances out there. Uh, also, one thing to keep in mind is that even though his stats are basically the same, and he just deals a lot more damage, that's just a flat-out damage calculation done in battle. It has nothing to do with Gobi's equipment or Bo's equipment. If you pretty much want to ignore their equipment for the rest of the game, you could. I'm just going to upgrade them periodically for those who care about using them. I'm not going to actually use them, but you can if you want there. But can we rescue all the metal smiths here and destroy the Dark Dragon's secret weapon? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!